right, ladies and larrys, you're probably wondering what this video is about. I was cut it quick to the chase. It's no secret. I have bad teeth, and uh, something that I've really been wanting to do is get the implant, the arch implants, full implants. I've had bad teeth my whole life since I was a kid. Um, of course, growing up poor didn't help either. But uh, the problem is, is in the States, the United States, you're 50, 65,000 uh, for that treatment. Um, so I started doing some research and, and really digging in for the past several months on finding uh, an alternative that isn't so much money. And uh, that's what brings me to Colombia, the country of Colombia. I'm actually in Cali, Colombia right now. I flew into Bogota, I'm from Bogota to Cali. There is a, not a company, but more of a liaison in Texas called uh, Medical Tourism. And what it does is it can put you into a place uh, outside of our country that can uh, do the same work for a lot less money. And uh, even with the traveling cost and everything else. So uh, I'm roughly looking at about 15,000 uh, to get full replacements here in Columbia versus 65,000 in the States. So that's a lot less. Um, I went to the facility, spoke to you, uh, got all the 3D x-rays, 3D modeling, complete facility was absolutely phenomenal, very upscale, very modern, um, it's not some back, back alley chop shop, it's the real deal. Um, Dr. Fernando Urab here in Colombia is, uh, he was taught in America, he went to school in America, he's better business accredited, the whole nine, uh, American dentistry, um, completely blown away uh, by what I what I saw there and what was done so far I'm going back this morning um, to kind of figure out exactly how we want to attack this thing but uh, yeah so this is more of a video for anybody who's in the boat that I'm in that don't have a lot of money but still wants to get something done um, you know I'm kind of the guinea pig in this situation but it's it's a long overdue and a long time coming and you know i'll bring you guys along on my journey you know uh if and when i get it done i'll go through the journey with that with you guys too but yeah i appreciate you and uh we'll get uh we'll get to rolling here i'm gonna get ready and we'll get to his office and see what we come up with but pretty exciting adventure gang so just to recap on where I'm at with the surgery I went to the doctor's office and I'm gonna try to make this camera steady I'm using my phone here I didn't want to bring my camera gear um yeah so the doctor's office you can eat off the floor it's very modern um very beautiful it's really on the higher end here for um dental work but I'm very confident. He did a complete 3D scan of my teeth, everything. Uh, did a CTI scan and uh, did like a, a laser scan as well. So it's two treatments. It's the first treatment that I pay for and then I come back four or five months later for my finals. And that's the correct way to do this. Everything I've read, you don't want to do finals in a day. So I'm happy with that and it breaks the payment down too. So, and I also included the car service um, to and from the airport as well as to and from the doctor's office. So I have the same driver, same car uh, taking me back and forth and it's all paid for. Um, the hotel I'm staying at is a Hampton by Hilton, uh, or yeah, Hampton by Hilton in Cali. 
it's familiar. I stay out of them in the States, so it's basically the same thing. I think it's nicer. They treat it like a five-star hotel, the, the workers here, so it's really nice. The breakfast here is amazing. Um, the food is actually amazing. There's a sky bar, a pool on the roof, hot tub, you know, you name it. It's different, though. Things work differently here. Um, the peso is different from our money, so... You know, I downloaded a converter so I know what things cost. Everything costs cheaper here, especially the food. You can eat real high quality food for pennies on a dollar. Um, but I stick with the restaurant here. Uh, there's a sky bar here in the hotel as well as a restaurant in the bottom called Waffles and Crepes or something or another. Um, anyway, this is the night before my surgery is scheduled tomorrow morning. They're gonna ex do a full extraction. Um, I'm going to come back here. I think they're going to put the, the studs in. It's a four over six is what I'm getting. And that, this treatment alone was about a little over $10,000. Um, the next one that I get when I come back four or five months later is going to cost to get my finals done is going to cost about four thousand dollars compare that now you got to include you know the travel you know you're 800 each way um the hotel was 50 bucks a night i mean <laughs> it's like a five-star hotel so that was nothing um, not nothing but it adds to the cost um and then of course whatever food or whatever you want to do here however many days you're going to stay here um, the process at the doctor's office was very seamless um, the, the, uh, medical tourism from, um, out of Texas is the one that liaisoned me to the doctor's office. They speak, uh, Spanish, English, and French. They do a lot of out of country clients from all over the world that come here, uh, to get work like this done. And it's not just dental. You can get any kind of medical procedure done here. You can get in the States. It's just... <laughs> so much less money you know it's just i wasn't sure what i was going to get into by doing this i knew that if i came here and if anything looked sketchy fishy hokey or whatever i was bailing out like I'll, i was just going to treat it as a short vacation turn around and go back home that isn't the case um as soon as i walked in the doctor's office i knew right away legitimate like completely the man is like a legend, really, um, here in Cali. But uh, I'm very confident, you know. So full extraction tomorrow morning. I'm going to be completely toothless. I'll probably be wearing a mask, eating suit. And then Wednesday, I go back, and they're going to put my temporaries in. And then I leave on Friday. So it's going to be an interesting journey. I've been waiting my whole life for to have better teeth, uh, something I can work with anyway. I didn't, like I said, I didn't grow up in a neighborhood and I didn't grow up middle class or rich where we had fluoride in the water and all that. I grew up poor on well water, so you can imagine. Anyway, um, yeah, looking forward to this whole journey and <laughs> I mean, it's it's been a long time coming and I know my videos going forward will be better because I'll actually have decent teeth to talk to you guys with, but anyway, I appreciate you just hanging out with me here in I'm Cali, Columbia, you know. Um, but yeah, I was just going to carry you guys on this journey with me. Um, on this video real quick too, guys, and I apologize. If I don't get a lot of video outside of the hotel, the reason is, is you don't want to be taking an iPhone 13 or an iPhone 14 going around like a tourist videoing stuff outside. They will steal your phone. They'll steal your wallet. They'll, they'll, they'll mug you here. I mean, it's not dangerous where I'm at, but you run that risk. And why take a risk? There's a safe in the hotel. I just put everything in a safe. Um, if you travel here, watch your cell phone data. Okay, all these smartphones, I have an iPhone, but all these smartphones use a lot of data. And as soon as you hit those roaming fees, holy cow, that bill goes through the roof so be careful with that um i'm on the hotel wi-fi and what i do is i shut my phone off i put it on airplane mode and i put it in the safe 
if I'm not using it, which I don't generally carry it, but I, I use a, tra- a Google Translate. I use that, and I use the currency converter, the free one. And Google Translate is free, and it works beautifully. It doesn't cost you any money. Um, I do speak a little Spanish, you know, words, not really sentences, but enough to get me what I need to do. And, um, and then the translator, you know, I use after that, but... Yeah, the doctor's off. Most people, most of the Columbia people speak enough English to get get by too. So, you know, if 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 you don't know any Spanish, they you could still communicate. Um, but yeah, it's been one hell of a journey um, to get here. And tomorrow morning is the start of that particular journey. And Wednesday, all this looseness, crookedness, bad juju I got going on in here is going to be gone and I'm going to have new implants put in or new temporary arch it's implant arches not individual implants I'm getting full arches right and they're going to put studs in my jaw and then screw those arches down into my jaw um the same procedure to have done in America and god I checked 65,000 60 cheaper ones are around 50,000 just was never going to happen in my bank just never going to happen just I couldn't there's just no way but this is doable and you know yeah you have to travel and there's cheaper options too out here as well I mean there's cheaper if you want to go cheaper with the work if you want to go cheaper with your hotel stay uh, cheaper with the car service you know they have a uber type thing here called drive I think um, that you could schedule I just you know, I don't know. I just didn't want to have some driver take me out into the back 40 and, uh, you know, and, <laughs> you know, deal with, deal with shenanigans. So I just felt peace of mind was worth a few extra pennies that I would say, you know, versus trying to save money. Same thing with the hotel. Yes, there's cheaper options. There's Airbnbs here, a lot of Airbnbs that you can get for like 20, 30 a night. You can get a full house to yourself if you want it. I mean, there's all kinds of options. Um, this is just familiar, you know, Hampton by Hilton, nice, you know, it's familiar to me and that's why I went with it. Um, they consider this a little more expensive. Um, there is the Continental, which is more expensive too, but it's further away from the doctor's office and I didn't want to commute. So from this hotel, I'm only 15 minutes away from from the dentist so it's not that and any appointment I have the car is ready and waiting for me outside driver picks me up I go I don't tip I don't pay any you know it's already prepaid the whole week from the airport to the hotel back and forth all my appointments to the doctor's office and back to the airport at three in the morning cost me a hundred bucks for the week done you know just peace of mind done you know why struggle dealing with all these different taxis drivers and you know people you don't know you know I just uh it's planning is everything planning is key um the food is good the food is very very good here very good and they take pride in their food and so I was really shocked about that too um that's here in the hotel but um I haven't really ate anything outside of here. Well, actually, I did. I ate some chicken. It was fine. It was like a their fast food chicken. It was fine. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, we'll close this segment out. And next time I talk to you, I'll probably be talking to you without any teeth in my mouth and a mask on. Just to kind of give you how I feel, where I'm at in my head. And, uh, yeah. All right, gang. So, had the surgery yesterday. Went uh, went very well. Um, the facility, like I said, is incredible. Doctor was incredible. Um, the anesthesiologist had a hit, had his own nurse. She put the IVs in. They didn't put me completely asleep, and as you can tell, today I have no teeth. I just hit, and they put the, the studs in my mouth. The doctor did full extraction, um, bone grafts the whole nine, I 
figured I would do this video with no seats so you guys can see what it's about. Uh, I can't say enough about this doctor. He's so pro that when he did the extraction, did the sutures, bone graft, put the studs in, the next day, I'm not sore, I'm not black and blue, I'm not swollen, um, I have no pain. They gave me a round of amoxicillin to take fully, and I have um, hydrocortone, hydrocortone uh, pills. They only give me six of those. I took two of them yesterday during the day, but uh, I woke up this morning feeling fine. Um, no pain, no bleeding. Um, you know, of course, I don't have teeth, and I can feel that part of it, but I don't have that hard pain where I've had one tooth taken out and feel like I've been kicked by a mule. He's so good. Um, and he didn't twist when he was pulling my teeth out. He pulled them out. Like he would start pulling on them and then as he would pull it, he would hold it and then he would pull it out. Anytime they're wrenching on you like that, that's what causes a lot of pain, swelling and all that. That's how pro Dr. Fernando is. Um, the staff, again, was excellent. The nurse, his nurse, um, would put, like, uh, moisturizer on my lips and caress my cheek and stuff. Very nice. I mean, just a nice class act. I mean, I couldn't be more thrilled so far with the procedure, and I don't even have my temporaries yet. No, I'm waiting on the lab to see if they can take me or not. But, um... Yeah, I'm just waiting on going in. Uh, they put the studs in. I have the studs at the top here too. You gotta remember guys, my natural teeth were just shot. They were bad. And um, I'm so looking forward to having decent teeth again. Not just cosmetically, but for health reasons. Um, when I do come back for the finals, the finals are going to be a, uh, they're going to have like a titanium uh, inside of it. It's going to have like titanium inside the, the implants, not the temporaries I'm getting now. The temporary, and then I'll heal for four or five months. I'll come back here and I'll get my finals done. Um, it's incredible. I'm having an incredible time. Uh, Columbia is beautiful. The people here are beautiful, they're friendly, they're kind, uh, you know, they could be out here. But anyway, guys, next step in the journey, and I'll catch you when I have actual teeth. Talk to you later. Hey, Dave. Well, we got it done. I got them all put in very good today. They put them in this morning about 9, 10 o'clock or so. Um, very well done. Very, very well done. And it was uh, 6 over 4 is what the arches are called. So I have six, in, 6 studs in the top and 4 in the bottom. Um, these are just temporaries, um, as you can see. I could smile again. First time I've been able to uh, actually show my teeth without embarrassment in my whole life. Um, I've just had problems, you know, it's just issues. But, you know, guys, really, this is a journey that I've been wanting to take for like a very, very long time. And, you know, yeah, I, I came to Cali to do it, but, you know, Columbia, but it's doable for the people out there, the common day person, you know, that doesn't have a lot of money to be able to do it in the States. And then, you know, God, I wish I could have, but I just, I couldn't afford it, you know? And this is an option for people. You don't need a visa to come here. 
as long as you're under 90 days, you can come here on a passport, okay? Um, which I did, and there's, a, uh, like I said, a company called uh, Medical Tourism. I'll have links in the bottom down here too. And I'll have a link to uh, Dr. Fernando's facility here in Cali. Um, Christine, who works with him as well as all the nurses, very caring. It's not only professionalism and not only state-of-the-art facility, but it's compassion that they have. And, you know, the fact that, you know, the nurse would rub my cheek and put, like, moisturizer on my lips and things like that. It's just very compassionate people there. And it's just remarkable. And to get the same thing done right. This isn't 24 hours you're walking out with your finals. I got to come back here in another four months. These are just temporaries while my uh, implants heal that are implanted in my jaw. So I have to be careful what I eat. These are acrylic. They're just acrylic, but the, the permanent ones that are going to be in here are going to have the metal plate and all that uh, in them. Uh, much more refined, I guess. But these are not dentures that were turned into arch implants. They actually took a 3D scan of my mouth and made these in a laboratory, in a lab, specifically for my mouth. They're not, some, some places will just take standard dentures, carve them out and make them into implants. That's not what these are. Uh, arch implants, full arch implants. So, but uh, very happy. A um, little bit of discomfort, you know, because he was torquing these things down into my jaws. Um, pretty hot and heavy. But, uh, you know, it's just, I can't say enough about the facility, about Columbia. The people of Columbia have just been absolutely amazing. Um, I'm staying at a, a, a Hampton by Hilton, which is all familiar to us in the States. Um, like I said, the outfit uh, medical tourism, and I'll leave the link below. I could set you up even with the same girl who helped me, just lean. And if you see this, I appreciate you as well. You've done a tremendous amount of work and, and follow up with me. And this was all included in me coming here. It didn't cost me anything extra to go through medical tourism and have just lean, you know, get all the logistics stuff, not all of it, but most of it out of the way. Um, remarkable because they're not going to give their stamp of approval on some shady outfit. Dr. Fernando and his facility is absolutely 100% perfection. Yes, there are some cheaper options here probably like there are in the States. I don't know if I would actually trust that, but I trust Dr. Fernando and I trust the facility I trust uh, Justine in medical tourism. Christine, Dr. Fernando's liaison there in the office, beautiful woman, uh, just absolutely remarkable to work with. Um, never had to guess, she was always following up, always following through, always checking up everything. Um, but if anybody has any questions or comments about this little journey trip that I took, uh, I know it isn't part of my normal channel stuff, but again, like I said, I wanted to give people an option out there that might not have the abilities of somebody who has a lot of money or maybe looking into getting getting their teeth back, getting their health, getting their life back. You know, it's huge. And this is very doable for me where in the States, no matter what state I looked into, it just wasn't going to happen. So, but anyway, guys, I appreciate you coming along and we're just here in beautiful Cali, Columbia. Just checking it out. There's actually a creek down here. I'd like to... Should have brought my gold pan. <laughs> Check that out down there, guys. Think there's any gold down there? <laughs> but I don't, I don't think I would get in that water. There's a lot of runoff in the streets. You see how busy it is in here. It's like a park area in here people jogging and that, and that river runs right down through here and guys if you're coming here in Cali stay within the city limit here where all these buildings are at stay within the city limit do not go into the barrio up here all on the outside of the city this is called the barrio there's another 
know the one over here too, I'll show you. When you go past, when you go past the city limits this way, beyond those buildings right there, beyond, no, I'm trying to get my finger in there, beyond those buildings, that's all body of two. Stay out of those areas, guys. Stay within the city limits here at Cali. All within the city limits in here. You know, you can skirt the perimeter. You know, there's stores and shops and whatnot all throughout here. But do not go into those barrios because they're controlled. Um, they're violent. There's gangs, whatnot, all up in there. Here is all protected. There's a lot of policemen, a lot of security guards. You name it. This is all protected area. Okay. Do not. This is protected. Do not go into those areas if you come to Colombia. What do you think, guys? Any gold in there? Awfully big bamboo. <laughs> All right, ladies and Larrys, we're back. Um, back from my Cali trip. I've been home uh, three or four days now. And uh, I just want to close out the video with this. Um, I'm going to leave links in the description of uh, Advanced Dental Aesthetics in Cali. I'll leave a link there. And I'll also leave a link to the medical tourism that I used to facilitate um, getting in touch uh, with Advanced Aesthetics and, and uh, doc Dr. Uri. Christine, I want to give a big shout out to who works at uh, Advanced Aesthetics. Incredible woman. The follow up and follow through. Um, writing me at 10 o'clock at night when she's home with her family. Um, any questions, any issues. I mean, she was on top of every single detail of my stay there. Um, with car service and uh, appointments and things being moved, she was on it. I never had to guess, I never had to worry. Um, Dr. Fernando, incredible man, uh, legend, uh, does beautiful work. I mean, I couldn't be more happier with the work that was done. And I know the condition of what he had to deal with. He had to really pull some rabbits out of the hat um, to give me my life back and to you know, give me my confidence back. And if you guys notice in my prior older videos, if you went that far back to my channel, you notice that you never see me. Uh, and the reason why was because of my teeth and eventually I started showing myself and then, you know, I just happened to have a time and place in my life that I could get something done about it. I've done a lot of research on it. I know there's going to be people out there that are going to say, oh, I would never go to another country to have that kind of work done. That's fine. And, you know, if you got the money to do it here in the States, by all means do so. I'm not saying anything negative about that, you know, and what people's capabilities are. I just know I don't have that kind of money. And this video is more for some people out there that may not have that the money to do it here in the States, and, but they want to get it done. They just don't have that capability. It's still expensive. I mean, you know, you're still, you're, you're still, you know, 15, 16,000. I'll be, I think 18,000 when I'm all said and done, when I go get my finals in four months. Um, and that's including airfare, hotel stays and everything, 18 all in. Um, but, you know, compared to what, 50, 60, 65,000? I just, there's just no way, and this is a way, you know, um, I don't, I'm not a, I'm an, I'm an American through and through, and you guys know this, and, and I'm very much a, 
I'm very patriotic when it comes to my country, but I don't hold any grudge or disregard for anybody else on the planet. You know, I don't care where you come from, who you are, or, you know, I don't care about race or anything. Just be a person and be a good person to each other. And, you know, that's important to me. And, you know, I get along with anybody. It doesn't matter where you come from. You know, I think, I think this world's got enough issues, you know. We don't need to be pitting each other against each other. Not only in this country, but in other countries either. You know, people want to work and want to do better for, the, for their lives and for themselves. By all means, do so. And that's what I did. I did, did something for myself. I mean, you know, come, come heck or high water, I'll try to do what I can do um, to improve myself, and I did. And I'm very happy with the results. I'm very happy with the results. Um, couldn't be more professional. I just can't say enough about it. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a follow-up video um, probably in a month. I'll do another video, and as I progress through the four months um, leading up to going back to get my finals done. And I know this video, guys, and I, I'm, I want to say I'm sorry to my subscribers who are subscribing to my channel for, you know, my prospecting content, metal detecting, and outdoor content. I, I apologize for this video, but this is something I really wanted to, to document my journey on. And um, in the case, maybe there's somebody out there that, that this will help. Um, but, you know, do your research, do your due diligence, and uh, I got teeth. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. I got some, uh, we'll do some prospecting and maybe some metal detecting too. I still want to hit the top lots around my local area here with the metal detector. I haven't hit them in a while. Um, I'm due for a run on that. You know, crazy train, she's over here. She's over here chilling and relaxing this morning. But uh, she missed me. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.